Hello friends, this is Praveen. Welcome to ITS workshop. So let us discuss uh, something about SDFS shell commands. So we have seen what what is SDFS. SDFS is Hadoop Distributed File System, and a developer should be familiar with the command prompt and all like copying from file from local system to your distributed system your cluster you can perform these operations can be performed from shell command as well as there are some tools like hue tools those tools you can use and using programming also you can perform all these action copying command and displaying the output and deleting the directory creating the directory all these things and dealing with data uh, as well as dealing with the admin stuff so you can perform various admin tasks using SDFS shell. So SDFS shell is command prompt which is used to interact with SDFS file system. So make sure your Hadoop is up and running. All Hadoop services are up and running. You can see here in my case it is up and running all application and Hadoop. Then you are ready to perform these commands. So the command it starts with name sdfs so using sdfs tool we are doing uh, we are performing all these commands then you can write dfs distributed file system it stands for dfs then this is the command and this is the path so it is the general flow so if you see sdfs then dfs then hyphen with the command and then hyphen with the option and then the uri so this is the general uh, flow which we take general example so like this is one command sdfs dfs hyphen ls and root so root is uh, just path so right now i just want to list out all the directories coming under root so you type sdfs dfs and the command here in this case is hyphen ls and then the path so now you can see this is uh, just warning and there are it means you are not getting any directories it means there are no directory no folder inside this root so if you come here in GUI and you need to verify you can go to utilities browse file system and you just give root here and then go so this is the GUI provided for you for handling all all these operations command operations and like not all operations first but mainly the directories if you want to see so right now you can see there is no directory under root so this is how we write a typical command let us see one by one the use of each command so first command can be cat command so cat command is uh, these all all of all these commands uh, like your general linux commands you can have you can see and this is the path for sdfs so if you give this uri for local host and sdf it will consider sdfs this is the default one so by default it will look for sdfs path and if you want to deal with local file system then you can provide this local file system path so that's how it will deal now this path is taken from fs default.name property which we set during installation in corsi.xml so these are just the point you need to remember let us see all these commands one by one so first of all uh, we, sh uh, we see the copy command from local from copy files from source to destination so we want to copy from local file system to destination that's what we want to do so before copying let us just do mkdir just creating the directory 
and ls is used for listing the directory see these are general linux command if you are familiar with cat is used for displaying output in command line and mv is for moving the file and put is used for copying from local file system to sdfs and get is from local from sdfs to local file system and rm is used for delete rm hyphen r is used for deleting containing the child directories so first of all let us create uh, one directory in sdfs so in sdfs i'm giving mkdir this is the command sdfs dfs hyphen mkdir and then you can give your directory name so my directory is my directory i'm giving directory as my directory and that is under root now if you perform ls again now you can see that your directory is created and under root user so it's giving you information about that now let us try to copy one file from local file system to hdfs file system so we have one command and that is put command so let us use put command stfs dfs hyphen put and then local file system and then destination so stfs dfs then hyphen put then path of local file system so i have got two files one is the small one one is the big one so right now i want to copy this file to sdfs so let me take the path this is home and prev and data under data file name is sample.txt and we can provide my directory so put sdfs dfs hyphen put this is the local file path and this is the hdfs path so let us do ls again now ls inside dir so if you see that inside dir my sample.txt is successfully copied so that's how we do we use put command now the next command we can use the cat command so cat command is used for displaying output in command line now you need to be little careful about this cat command because uh, right now this is a small file so we can perform this uh, but if you are dealing with larger file you need to be careful sdfs dfs cat my directory and then sample.txt this is general cat command so cat command gives us the output so whatever is written in this file so if you check this file sample.txt so in sample.txt i have put three lines hi all welcome to its workshop let us share knowledge so cat command is like basic linux command and we are displaying the output in the shell or the command prompt itself so as uh, uh, i was saying that you need to be careful about cat command because right now it's just a small file so three lines no need to worry but generally with sdfs you are dealing with larger file system so if your file is in mbs or gbs you won't like to perform cat command like this directly so there is one method which you can use so cat 
using cat command and just using had or tell information so sdfs dfs cat and same your command then you are giving the output of it in had and number 25 so it means we just want to display let me give it head and hyphen n and 2 so it has got three lines i'm saying it that just give me two lines so now uh, now uh, with this is useful head or tell you can say tell also so just instead of hell head you can say tell number two so you are you are getting last two lines so this head and tell is used in case of large files you just want to see the file in which format the data is there and you don't like you you want definitely you won't like to put all the lines into your command prompt so these head and tell are really useful in that case so we have seen mkdir we have seen ls we can see cat command and now let us see copy command so copy command is used for cp and you are copying from one source to uh, from one source to destination we are copying it so let us create one more directory mkdir i'm creating directory number two and now i want to copy directory one's stuff into directory second so my dr second and instead of cat our command is cp now if we do ls again with my directory second we can see the file is copied and copy means it should be present at source also so if i do ls with source i can see sample is present in both directories so sample is in my directory sample is in my directory too so that's how copy command works next we would like to see copies done ls mkr put and get command so get command is used if you want it's like uh, your put command is like uploading file uploading to sdfs and your get command is like downloading from hdfs so instead of giving so you just need to change the source and destination so this is how we used put command and right now we want to see get so our source will be my directory second so the stuff of my directory setting second should come in home so i, j I just change uh, i have just changed the source and destination for put command this was the sdfs path uh, this was the local path and for get command this is the sdfs path so and vice versa here so I will just change it and if you do enter. So if I see if I go to my home directory any home directory if I check now you can see 
my directory and sample is copied so earlier only two files were there and now using get command we are just getting this my directory we are see uh, now you can find uh, the difference if you don't provide the absolute path with file it just gives you full directory all directory is coming under my directory so it has given all my directory now if you just do if you provide specific path like sample dot txt this is absolute so this will create uh, now it says file already exist let me remove this and let me perform again so this is the difference between giving absolute path absolute path will download the specific file and if you don't give the path it will just copy full directory like it created my directory to here so my directory and all the all the files coming under my directory so that how it works so we have seen put and get now let us come to move and delete so put is done moving from source to destination so it is like same copy so in copy we are actually having in source also and in destination also but when we do move we lose from the source and we put in the destination that how move works so where is copy this is how we just copied copy if i give move sdfs dfs move and it says already exist and if we do ls now ls my directory to you can see in my directory too we have got this new and if you do ls with new also uh, i think the fi file already exists so it could not remove so first let us perform delete command then we'll perform move so it should work so for deleting particular files you just need to give rm so dfs hyphen rm and it will delete the file but if you want to delete recursively then you can use dfs hyphen rm hyphen r so it will recursively delete all the stuff all the child stuff coming under that directory so let me use and i want to delete sample.txt inside my directory too so just rm so hdfs dfs hyphen rm deleted my directory sample txt and if you do ls with my directory to now you can see that sample is deleted from here so now let us try to use move again so moving means copying from my directory uh, moving means uh, copying as well as like removing from my directory and putting it to my directory to so we want to move my directory sample.txt into my directory to now i think
my directory my directory is empty so let me put one file so right now i want to put a big file so big file you can see i have got one file which is page count this is wikipedia's page count file which we'll use in our project and next map reduce programming so i want to put that file in my directory and now if you do my directory ls now you can see this page count is moved and size around 300 mb so now let us perform move with it so instead of sample.txt i can just provide page count and my directory 2 so moving from my directory to my directory 2 if i do ls my directory again now you can see it is not displaying anything it means it has been removed from the source and it if you do ls for the destination so for the destination we got page count so that's how we do it and that's how all the we do we perform all the shell commands so you should be familiar with all the commands and if you if you very want to verify from browser you can see we have got my directory and there is nothing in my directory and we have got my directory too we have page count block size 128 mb and this is around 300 mb and this is just 57 bytes so that's how we do sdfs commands basic sdfs command if you like this video please click on like button please share and subscribe for more videos like this